Now, ladies and gentlemen, with the current state of Counter-Strike Global Offensive investing, things have gone up quite a bit going into Chinese New Year, right? We saw prices like the Abasimov go from $60 to $80 now to $120. We saw things like the glove case go from underneath a dollar to $2.50, almost hitting $3. And with Chinese New Year right around the corner, obviously starting February 1st, that's going to last two weeks. That means Chinese people are going to buy a lot more CS skins. Things are going to sell for very high prices. And quantity is going to go down quite a bit on the market, which is very good for us as well. And on top of that, a lot of North American Counter-Strike players are coming back from Valorant as well as streamers. And I think with all that kind of lined up is kind of in line for a market explosion and things to start going off in price, especially as well as Re Operation Reptide are moving here very, very soon from CSGO in about a month and a bit. They said that they say February 20th, it's supposed to get removed, but we all know what happened with the major. Obviously, December, I think it was 18th or the 20th, it was supposed to get removed, the PGL major specifically, the Stockholm packages as well as the capsules themselves, but they didn't get removed till I think it was January. January 15th, it was like 20 days after. So we could see the same thing happen again. But if it doesn't, we could see those also explode from Operation Riptide. Now this is definitely going to be a commentary. So sit back, relax, take off your socks, wait for the Mando Theory. That's gonna be this video and enjoy. Kind of the starting point I really wanna talk about as of recently is pro players coming back from obviously Valorant and just streamers and just regular players in general. I feel like now more than ever, the average player that was playing CS three years ago kind of had a down period where they weren't playing for maybe a year, six months, or even a couple years, or even three years, maybe since before the pandemic, or currently then. And now I feel like a lot of people are coming back. I feel like I get comments on my YouTube channel every single day, as well as my Discord and Twitter say like, hey, bro, I'm coming back into CS. What should I buy as an investment? Should I buy skins? Are they still good? I mean, hey, I want to go play Platterant. Valorant, I'm going to go play Fortnite when that was very big, and now here we are back in CS, and the same thing is happening with Valorant, with pros coming back. Look at North American Counter-Strike with Nitro, coming back from Valorant from 100 Thieves, now he's on Team Liquid back again, that leading roster, and then you see people like Automatic that's coming from Valorant as well, coming back over to CS and joining Evil Geniuses and restarting that Cloud9 roster that won Major back in 2018, the one and only North American Major that's been won. And with the growing players that we're getting every single day with more people coming back from NA especially, we're going to see a jump up in skins. This happened back in 2020, if you guys don't know what I mean. When the pandemic hit, CS was pretty popular. Like it wasn't dead by any means, but it definitely wasn't how it is today. We were getting like 200,000 to 300,000 people, like max, maybe 400,000 was a very max concurrent player, ga player base we'd see across the world that's including China during the week. Now we have an average of like eight or 900,000 because China's so big into CS and just CS is bigger than ever. Obviously with that back in 2020, we saw skin prices and just item prices in general in CS jump to an exquisite amount. Like we saw things like Titan Hollows go for over $60,000, which is just crazy. Dragon Lords went up a lot. And if you had anything that was decently rare, even going back to 2019 for Katowice 2019, those skin prices and sticker prices and capsule prices went absolutely bonkers. Like Furia Hollows were going for 45 bucks at one given point in time. They still are pretty expensive. But considering you could buy those for $10 a year before, then that's pretty good. Well, as the current crypto crash, right, we've seen prices be very, very cheap, especially for the glove case underneath like a $2 at this point, which is pretty good for this case as an investment. Like any Anything under $1.50 is very, very good for this. And obviously it's dropping to about $1.90 right now is a good median. And we've also seen a drop in quantity on the market for all these items in particular. So that's just been the past couple of days. But since the market has dropped even more, we're seeing the quantity go back up. And that's actually a good thing for people that want to buy into it. There's more to buy. That means the prices have to go automatically down. But with North American people coming back into CS, we're getting more players just coming back from other games because maybe they want to take a break from CS and there's a big possible chance CS could get a big update in the next couple of years, which I'm thinking and hopeful as well. We've talked about all the Source 2 leaks and rumors the past year or so. Obviously, Valve puts out on their Twitter every single day, Counter-Strike, and on Instagram, essentially, with a little story. I think they want to rebrand CS to just Counter-Strike and not CSGO. I think that's their end game goal and they could rename the next game to just counter-strike which would be very very cool and that would just be their brand let me take a look at the op asimov for an example this is a very good example in my personal opinion this is just a regular tier op that we've talked about for a few months on the channel and dating back to about a year or two ago when we made our videos on place good investment guides like the very first ones we talked about the op asimov how it was a good investment you know you could get it for 40 and 50 bucks and field tested now here we are that skin particularly selling at you know 110 dollars 120 dollars on a very good day and that's, that was just an average play skin. It was in the Phoenix case, which that wasn't always the most expensive case in the game. It was like 50, 60 cents. I could usually see it 45 to 50 cents on the market. Now here we are at $1.10 for this case in particular. And that was just an average case. There's nothing really, really special about that. And we're seeing also cases go up in price a lot 
as of recently with just one skin in that case going up a lot for an example the m4 minus print stream the broken fang case it was like 20 30 cents not that long ago because the snake bite case ruined it by releasing with the same golds so you could have unboxed the same golds in the case for 30 percent cheaper 50 percent 60 percent cheap and since obviously operation riptide released and you had the m4 buff people were using the m4 even s especially after the major a lot more than the m4a4 and that drove m4 a1s prices up and m4a4 prices down and with that the print stream has become one of the most popular skins in cs and with that the broken fan case has also risen a lot. And we're seeing this trend a lot as of recent and you know the past couple days since the market's been down and keeps going down and this major stuff obviously the pgl major these capsules were a big deal for a lot of people for investments i was one to suggest not to invest into these because i don't think they're a very good you know, term investment as of right now. I think they're very good in the long term if you want to wait five years, but that's not something everyone wants to do. Who even knows if you're going to be alive in five years? It's a very dark thing, but you know, there's always a possibility. Mando could be eaten. I don't know. Looking at something like an AK Vulcan and minimal wear, you were able to pick up some of these up. For example, last year, $110, $115, which is just very, very cheap. Now they're going for almost 200 bucks. This is just for an example of just a year. And obviously this is when CS was popular, but we also had things like Valorant come out that was kind of scaring a lot of the population in CS, especially for skins. Like do skin prices go up? Do skin prices go down? And the answer is obviously no. And it looks like CS is also here to stay. When people stay in, skin prices are going to go up. You don't believe me? Look, at things like the m9 slaughter these things were relatively very cheap for a long point in time these things were below 600 dollars at one point like 500 dollars 400 dollars the, just the past couple years now they're sitting on the market factory new for 762 dollars and i found this out the other day because i wanted an m9 slaughter you know back in the day they used to be maximum like 400 bucks now they're 762 and that was steam market prices a few years ago and there's just an upwards trend like i mean you look at this for example it's just keep it just keeps going up and up and up which is just absolutely crazy and it seems like just the most basic skins in the game right now are very much in demand in just cases in the game in general like the battle scarred hollow it was available to everyone for a very long time in operation broken fang you were able to get these on third-party websites at one given point in time for underneath a dollar they had an all-time high as soon as it ended because of fomo at seven dollars and fifty cents and here they are currently setting at four dollars and fifty cents four dollars and sixty cents going to five dollars and then there's some very big things this year that i think have a very big potential like the revolver case and the chroma 3 case the chroma 3 being the last case that's very very cheap that's under like 50 cents for you to get the old chroma knives right the karamba doppler the M9 Doppler, the Bayonet Doppler. And obviously you have the revolver case where it has older finishes in the game, like the Keramic Case Hardened. Everything besides essentially the newer knives, as well as obviously the Chroma knives. They're not in that case, but it's still like 10 cents, 15 cents to a box to try and get a Karambit for underneath like 50 cents. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think the same thing or do you not? Be very curious and very interested to see what you guys have to think. Because I definitely think the market is going to explode in the next couple of years, especially like just we're going to see prices like we did back in 2020. And I think prices right now are the new norm in CSGO. Like before 2020 came out, I don't think people understand that those prices were the norm for a very long time. And people like myself are still not really used to the new prices inside of CSGO. Like I'm still not used to seeing M9 Dopplers for over $600, right? You know, now they are current norm before was like 400 bucks i'm still not used to seeing prices for the op asimov over 60 dollars right they're now over 120 which is just crazy and i think going forward this is going to be the new normal as it was two years ago kind of like an inflation to the market and with cs growing na coming back and just more people playing cs all the time and just playing cs over valorant now i think we're going to see a big price increase in the next little while i'm very interested to hear what you guys think well, once again this is all speculation this is just my kind of mando theory i like to say hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did please comment like, subscribe follow me on twitter leave your description below hopefully you have a good day stay positive stay sexy i'm out guys peace